Hi, I'm Dave Pitcher, and this is Dave's Diamond 3x3x3. As you may recall from the previous video, this puzzle had a lot of trouble working. So you can see, right now, it's scrambled in just one of the um, cube states. So you can see that there are edges like this that remain together, and all the corners remain together. Uh, that's a center, uh, corner, edge, edge, there's an edge, etc. So it's really just been scrambled as a single 3x3x3 three by three by three so far. Of course, it's a super cube because the centers have to be oriented correctly, as they are here, in order to continue scrambling the puzzle. So in the last video, I showed you how difficult it was to change states in the puzzle and switch to the other cube. In fact, I failed to do so even with a uh, heavy-duty metal uh, screwdriver type tool. Well, since then, I developed a new method for working with this puzzle and created another tool that actually helps make it work quite well. So this is a 3D printed um, well, I guess you can call it jig that allows the puzzle to change states because it holds everything in alignment. Using this jig, I can actually use the plastic tool to very easily switch states of the puzzle. Now that I've switched to the other 3 by 3 by 3 I can continue scrambling on the other set of axes, like so. In fact, I'm going to scramble this up now on this set of axes so that um, I can get it into a truly scrambled state. Not that I actually really want to attempt to solve this entire beast. Uh, I think that would be quite a tall task, but I just want to see what it looks like fully scrambled. And as you can tell, I'm having a hard time actually seeing where all the slices line up at times. Um, but that's part of the fun of this puzzle. So, as you can see, using this new tool um, to help hold things in alignment, I actually got this puzzle to, to function quite nicely. And I'm very happy with it now, although I, I gotta say it still does pop uh, quite easily uh, due to the uh, design of the mechanism and the fact that the rails, um, some of the pieces are so close to the edge of the, uh, edge of the puzzle. Um, I don't know if you can see into there, but this piece would be very easy to pop out right now. Well, the other thing that I wondered about this puzzle is if the previous version I made with the switch that was only attached to one corner piece instead of all the way through to the core would work with this new tool. And I'm happy to say that it indeed does. So as long as everything is held in alignment and held in place, kept from moving outwards, the puzzle works great. So maybe the problem wasn't with the switch in the end, but with holding the puzzle together. And that's the first twisty puzzle I've seen that really has that kind of issue. But it is an interesting issue with this particular type of mechanism uh, that's used in the Dave's Diamond 3x3x3 and in Dave's Diamond and in conjoined cubes. That's the Dave's Diamond 3x3x3. Thanks for watching.